Hello, my beautiful and courageous friends. It's Natalie Kelly, the TBI coach here. And today I wanna to talk to you about color and how it's helped me recover my brain from a traumatic brain injury. I know that sounds really weird. I might have thought before that maybe, okay, color might have an effect on my emotions, how I feel, my moods. But if you had told me that color could have a physiological effect on your body, I would have thought that was like new age hogwash. I want to start out though by explaining to you how I came upon this. So in the first few years of my traumatic brain injury, when I was having those moments of being completely overstimulated, when my brain would shut down and be flooded and I couldn't function at all, what I noticed is I started gazing, if I could find it, I started gazing at green light coming through the leaves. I noticed that my brain and my eyes would just search for that green light. And if I could find green light coming through leaves and stare at it long enough, my nervous system would calm down and I could eventually come back into my body and be able to move again. Now I wondered, what, what is this? What is going on about the green light coming through the leaves that seems to be helping me so much? And it wasn't even a conscious thing. It was just my body was doing it. So I started looking this up. And what I discovered was something that's called syntonic therapy. There's a college for syntonic optometry, and there's an entire science, an entire school behind how color affects our physiology. So it turns out that each eye has 137 photoreceptors, rods and cones, that let light into our eyes and translate them into an electrical impulse and then send them at a rate of 234 miles an hour back to the back of our head to create images. Besides creating image, light is also doing something else for us. It's going directly into the hypothalamus, which is a part of the middle of the brain, which is equivalent to the CEO of all the vital functions for your body. So light, besides going into your eyes for vision, it's also going through your eyes directly into your hypothalamus. Quality of the light is very important to the hypothalamus. It needs the full spectrum of light and each color will react differently to the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus is regulating your endocrine system, your hormones, and your nervous system, which is really important for somebody with a brain injury. It's a nervous system injury. So it turns out that a red light will stimulate the sympathetic or energizing branch of the nervous system. So you know how red might give you energy, it might rev you up, it might put you into fight or flight, it creates that response in our nervous system. It turns out a blue or purple end of the spectrum will stimulate our parasympathetic nervous system. So that's the rest digest and heal part of our nervous system. The green light is in the middle of that rainbow of color and it's the neutral color. So a green light will balance our sympathetic and our parasympathetic nervous systems. Isn't that amazing? So it turns out that color has a direct effect upon our nervous systems. Most people with brain injuries are stuck in some form of sympathetic response, meaning fight, flight, or freeze. It means we're anxious, we're overstimulated, and it's really hard to regulate that nervous system. So that's where the green light comes in, or the blue light, to help balance that out. Now the lack of color might be affecting somebody with a brain injury in an adverse way. For example, in the winter when the sky might be white and the ground might be white and there's not a lot of color contrast, it makes it difficult for some brains to understand where the body is in space without that contrast. Another example might be in a white shower or bathtub where everything is white it might cause disorientation and dizziness. Now there are three ways that color has helped me. The first is by using color tinted lenses. 
Now these have helped me re relax my brain so that it can absorb more information. The second way is by using colored tinted overlays over white pages in order to read. Again, it relaxes the brain. And if you want more information about this, specifically go to my video on the colored tinted overlays for reading. The third way is by looking at a colored light, which has expanded my peripheral vision. And if you watch, my doctor will explain to you how that worked. So light, besides playing a function for your vision, also plays a function for every other system in your body. Now we know that it affects seasonal affective disorder and depression. We know that it affects fertility. We know that if we put a baby with jaundice under a blue light, it will break up that bilirubin and so the baby can heal just simply by putting it under a blue light. So there's a great book I read. It's called Light, the Medicine of the Future by Dr. Jacob Lieberman. And in his book, he talks about this in great detail. And he talks about studies where a red light has healed people of migraine headaches and a blue light has healed people of their arthritis pain. So if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you exactly what looking at a green light has done for me with my behavioral optometrist who is using a green light for me. You are not alone, yeah, oh. Hi, this is Natalie, and I'm here with Sydney today at Family Vision Care in San Carlos, California, and we've been working on syntonic therapy together, which is a form of light therapy that has been shown to be effective with some people with brain injuries. So, right. can you tell us more about what, what, we've, what we've discovered and what we've been doing? So, before Natalie worked on the light therapy, um, with one color that Dr. Lee and Dr. Hong had selected for her to use. We did a color fields testing, and the first one was performed on March 24th, and this is the one she did with her right eye at that time. So it's about two, three weeks ago. I would have to say about three weeks ago. And then we redid these today on April the 14th, excuse me, the 15th, 2014. So these are the two different uh, fields of the right eye. The top one is the one back on the 24th. This one is on today of April the 15th. And what it is showing is there's an increase in her awareness of each of the different colors that's performed on the color fields testing. So we can see on the top one that the blue area is not as big as the area on the bottom of the blue color detection. Same thing with the red and the green and also her white color awareness down here on the bottom there are some little white x's as you can see here on this lower one and then up on the top one it was very very different different to see so this is the older one on the top and the newer one today i'm going to go ahead and turn these over we're going to keep the first one on the top was the left eye back on the 24th of march in this area here and also on today the 15th of april on the lower one again. And so her increased awareness of each of those colors has dramatically changed. And then you were sharing with me, you haven't really noticed anything too different yet in regular daily activities on these, that looking at this one color of light for 10 minutes hasn't bothered you at all, correct? But you've no, done it, it hasn't bothered me. You've done it 13 times since I saw you last on March the 31st. Right. Usually, you do it in the evening before you go to bed? Yes, mm -hmm. for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. And all I'm doing is looking at a green light. And right. We had chosen that green was the right color for me. Correct. And all I'm doing is looking at a green light for 10 minutes. And mm -hmm. it's pretty remarkable to see this change. documentable change in my vision. Of when you're looking and to detect these different colors of lights, your mm -hmm. motion detection of uh, when you can first be aware of something moving. So we're going to pursue the light training yeah. and see if there are other things that you become aware of yeah. um, as she's doing more of the syntonics training. I'm really excited about Me this. Me too. I feel like if I can expand my peripheral vision, which this shows that is starting to happen a little bit, that it'll really make a big difference in my life. Yeah, and peripheral is one, but also the brain being able to identify and recognize these colors mm -hmm. um, and how that plays out in daily activities and so on and so forth. So 
in many ways, increasing many different vision skills and awarenesses. It's something we want to help all of our patients in vision therapy. And the syntonics is also another valuable tool. Yeah. And it's very uh, individual on what's going to happen. And uh, we're hoping our best. There are lots and lots of improvements to come. Yes. Right? Well, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Natalie. All right. All right.